Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Janelle, lover of all things easy peasy keto uh, and low carb, but a little bit different today. It's my daughter's birthday. She turned five this week and we're prepping for her birthday party. Gonna do a big balloon arch. Um, so let's hang together. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And I am off to the gym to start the day. So um, the girls are gonna go with my mom, gonna go hang with Grammy for a few hours. I'm gonna hit the gym, come home, and do as much as I possibly can without the girls because they're two and five. So decorating for a party is a little bit hard with two little ones. So let's just get into it. So this is what I'm doing for a pre-workout right now. I just have this, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not like thrilled with it. I just get it on Amazon, it's cheap. Um, it's just decent, but I actually do love this. This is the PE Science, the high volume. This is caffeine free. So I love it for when I work out at night and it still gives you that pump. Like I really love this. This is the green apple, it tastes delicious. It tastes like Jolly Rancher. So I do a serving of that and then since it's like the morning time, I like to do a little bit of this. Uh, truthfully, the C4, I'll be honest, really doesn't do anything for me, I don't think. Maybe a tiny bit of energy. But I just do like a little bit of that. Oh, don't mind the iron in the background <laughs> on the kitchen counter. Okay, so that's what I do for my little pre-workout stack. But this, eh, just okay. Not super thrilled. This one I'm absolutely obsessed with. I love it, especially for nighttime, like after work or when I work out at like five, six, seven, anytime at night, I love, love, love this because it doesn't keep you up at night, but it still gives you that pump and that energy. Um, okay, you girls ready? What's going on? Mom, what? Oh, your backpack on, oh no. Wow. Okay, okay girls, let's go. <laughs> Get in the car, diapers, wow. Okay, girls, let's go. Okay, so I finished at the gym and I stopped at Starbucks. Um, well, actually I stopped at Target, which like there's a Starbucks inside, so hello, like I had to uh, get mine. So Starbucks order for today was, I wanted something strong and iced. So I got a triple shot of espresso over ice with unsweetened almond milk and sugar-free cinnamon dolce. It's okay, it's strong, <laughs> which is what I wanted. Um, it's okay. It just tastes pretty strong. I think a hint of cinnamon. Um, but I got a lot to do, but I've got a lot to do. I don't know what I just said there. Um, maybe the espresso is kicking in. I'm going to get home and get started on this balloon arch. Let's go. The cutest balloon arch on a budget. Let me show you. I promise you it's so easy. Here's what we got. This is how I do my balloon arches. I order kits from Amazon. I'm telling you, it's so cost effective. Um, I'm, I'll link like all my favorites in like a little party Amazon favorites. My Amazon store, whatever. You guys, I think I had too much espresso, I can't really talk, but bear with me. So, these are the kits that I bought. You can go on Amazon for like pretty much whatever color scheme you like, whatever. And I just buy the kit. So this was a kit of like 120, 130 balloons. It comes with accessories. Um, I don't really use those, but you can. It comes ugh, with glue dots. I'll show you how to use those later. Um, yeah, I think this kit was $14. Like it's a great price. Guys, is my head cut off? I'm using my new camera, so I don't really know. I can't really see, but Anyways, okay, I also got this electric uh, balloon pump off of Amazon, $20, plugs in. You can do two balloons at a time. Amazing. <laughs> the first balloon arch I ever did, I blew up with my mouth, all of the balloons, and I got a raging rash like all around my face. I was like kind of allergic to balloon. Anyways, just get this, makes your life so much easier. So here's what I do because I am like extra about this. Look, you guys, you can throw a balloon arch together and it's gonna look fabulous. Like, my daughter's five. Like, any balloon thrills her, okay? I'm extra and I divide the colors because I like it to be symmetrical, so I like to space out the colors. I don't like too much pink over here, too much teal, whatever. That's just me, because again, I'm extra. 
Um, the tripod I use, I will also link, I got it on Amazon. It's like for photo backdrops. I think it was like $30, I don't know. I also have a homemade one that I borrowed from a friend that I really like out of PVC pipe. You could probably YouTube how to build that as well. Again, super cost effective. And you can use all of these things over and over. Well, not the balloons, the balloons are one and done. Um, but yeah, okay, so here's what I do. So I divide them out because I like to see what I have because I think what I'm gonna do is three. So one, two, three. Um, and I want to see, I want to divide into three piles. Again, I know, it's extra. So here's what we got. We got some like decorative ones. These are, when you blow them up, they have like confetti in them. They're super cute. Some polka dot ones, two colors of pink and teal. And then these are minis. So these little minis I use for filler later. Um, so I set those aside because I'm not gonna put those like in the arch, you know? So that's for later and I'll show you how to do that later. But this is what I like to do first. I just divide the balloons and then I like to see what I got. And then I'll divide them up into three since I'm doing three, you know, walls of balloons. Okay, filler, filler. Pink. That's a filler one. So you can see that they're like substantially smaller. Like this is a regular one, and then this is the little mini. Like it's obvious. So minis go over there for filler later. And okay, fillers. These. Okay. So I feel like I'm gonna need more balloons so i have <laughs> this is like my balloon bag this bag has gone and this pump y'all all of my friends all my girlfriends like we are on such a balloon arch kick we're obsessed um we've been doing like every uh, we all have like small kids so like baby showers birthdays like we are just going nuts but anyways i literally have like a bag of extra black so i'm gonna add some black into the arch um, and again, this is just like stuff I keep. So yeah, we just have tons of stuff. And trust me, it's like super cost effective. I promise you. Now, if you want to hire someone to do a balloon arch, like you do you boo. Like I'm not saying that there's anything against that. And I am not an expert. <laughs> is this going to be completely perfect? No. But like I said, my daughter's five. She gets thrilled from one balloon, let alone an entire arch. So like, for me, it, it just works. I kind of enjoy it. I've always loved crafting, so I just kind of like it. Oh, see, here's black, but these are like shiny. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put some black out. And then I'll show you, um, we'll go ahead and get, blowing them up, let's get to it. <laughs> here's my little guy. You just like, press down on these little knobs and that's it so we got lots of balloons to do I just get going I like to do a decorative with a color or like mix and match so I tie two together so here's where like you can get creative okay here you're just gonna tie these two together so you can get creative whatever pattern you want like you want all the same color, you want mix and match, you want decorative ones, like whatever you want to do, that's all you're going to do, okay? So those two are tied together, okay? Continue on. <laughs> Let me show you how freaking cute these are. Be careful because these are like the decorative ones. <laughs> to overfill your balloons because <laughs> uh, some of them are higher quality balloons and some are not. So be careful, you can pop your balloons. And obviously I just like to be really careful with the decorative ones because you only get so many in the pack, you know? 
Like I feel like if you pop a pink one or whatever, like no big deal, but you only have so many decorative ones. Okay, super cute, continue on. And I kind of try to get them like the same size. I'm not like precise. Doesn't have to be like perfect. I've seen some people, like some professionals, that have like a box that has like the size of the balloon, like different size circles, so every single one can be exactly the same, and no, I do not do like that. I just like eyeball it. Yeah. <laughs> so honestly, this is probably the part that like takes the longest, just blowing up all of your balloons. But at least it's not hard, you just like sit here, you know? Okay, so now it's time to start the arch. I promise you, it's really actually really easy. So I have a string, this is as wide as I want the top, so this is the top piece. So I do it in three different pieces, or however many sides you want. So this is the top side, okay? <clears throat> so you're just gonna start and tie a knot around your first double, your first balloon pair. Okay? There we go, that's the very beginning, okay? And now, literally, all you're gonna do is you get your next pair, let's do pink. See, here's where you can kind of get creative. So do whatever colors, mix and match however you want. You can do a pattern or whatever. So you're just gonna set them on top, make like an X, okay, make an X, and wrap the string around the one balloon, and it's locked in. And you just keep going. Build the chain, I promise you, it's that easy. I like to pull them super tight because then it looks really full, you can have it loose, whatever you want. You, like, this is where you can absolutely, totally just get super creative. So the next one, make an X, okay? Just wrap around the balloon, and there you go. Makes like the cutest little cluster, okay? Make an X, set it down, wrap your string around. That's it. And obviously you just continue on until you're all the way down. Like, okay, so look how, like that's it. That took me like 30 seconds. So that's why I said blowing up the hard part. This is actually super easy and actually moves really quickly. Um, you just keep making an X. I pull it top, like I said, because I like it to be full, okay? So make an X with your balloons, shove it down in there, wrap, keep going. <laughs> now you can do this with fishing line, string, I've seen some people do it with um, those like string balloons, it's, it's really whatever you have at home, it's whatever, whatever you got laying around. I always have extra like string and ribbon, so that's what I do. The only thing, be careful, you want to get it like tight in there, so see that one kind of got loose, got away from me a little bit. I like mine to be pretty tight, so I just make sure, like push your hand in there kind of, okay? Twist and twist. And like you guys, you see how like full and sturdy that is? Like, it's so cute. Okay, let's keep going. And I just kind of look at it like, oh, what color do I want next? Oh, this, oh, that. It's like, it's like, it's not that serious with this. I promise you, they just come out cute. And you guys, we haven't even used, I'll show you at the end how we add filler. So like, don't be too hard on yourself if like the colors 
aren't coming out exactly what you like because we can fill in with other colors later. So like a little pop of black, a little pop of teal, whatever you want to do, um, you can just fill it in later. Okay, so okay. here we are the next day. This is the day of the party. If I'm doing an arch outside, I don't put it together outside until the day of because like the heat, the wind, um, mine today is going to be under our patio. So hopefully it will last, the party's not for like five hours. So fingers crossed. But um, if you're doing them inside the house, you can totally do them the day before. I've even done one two days before and they're still fine. Again, I'm not a professional, so like, I don't know. I hear about balloon oxidation. I really don't even know what that is. Look, the balloons are, look amazing. Anyways, so here we go. So this is how I make them. I make them in three parts. So one, two, and three. Um, the streamers I attach to the tripod stand, which is also from Amazon, and I accidentally ordered like 30 of them like years ago, so I used them a bunch. Um, so now we just attach it. So this is all on that string that I showed you yesterday. I just get more string. This like comes in the packs. I have like tons of these little ones. This is a gold um, really only because I couldn't find my white, but I can hear my mom in my head, don't use your teeth. I'm like, bite it. Um, anyways. You just tie it to the pole itself, and that's it. Um, so let's see. Let's start. So I get it around one of the loops. Okay. There's really like nothing fancy here. You're just tying a knot. So I get it and cut it kind of long. Give yourself some slack. You can always trim it later, but I just, so here's like essentially just a little loop, right? And then tie it to the top pole, not this one, because if you do it on the left side, it's just going to kind of slip down. So you want to tie it to the top. This part can be a little tricky. You got to like... Get in there. <laughs> okay, and then I also have, <laughs> this is clear tape, and I'm gonna tape it to the top for extra support. And then, this is where you can like rearrange them, do a little swivel if you want, whatever you want, and then you just keep kind of tying as you go. And then you're just gonna go and attach your other one over there with it. Okay, so I actually changed my mind and cut my larger one into a mini because how stinking cute is she? <laughs> Is that not the cutest little LOL thing? Okay, so like I said, I just made, I had a long one. I'm just gonna put this up in the corner and then we'll see how it looks. Oh, my lanta, it's cute. Adorable.